Herzlich willkommen and guten Tag to the first episode of German Baking with Mrs. Stewart. This is hopefully the first video of some more where I'm going to show you some uh, how to make some German goodies. Um, why am I doing this? Because Easter is coming up. So I was thinking that maybe you can surprise your parents with some really nice dessert for your Easter supper or your Easter lunch or even if you don't celebrate Easter you can still surprise your parents because pretty sure they would love that. Um, I'm also doing this as a little homage to my German classes because sometimes you see us in the cafeteria baking and um, oftentimes some of you come by and they're like oh can I try can I try and so this time we're just showing you how to do it and um, yeah so the first thing that we're making is and you you may have seen it in the cafeteria is the so-called Erdbeerrolle and we call it a strawberry roll so what do you need for the strawberry roll I wrote it all down and <laughs> I actually my uh, video skills I have to say that uh, to begin with they are not uh, a movie like like Mr. Fauche's. I tried to contact him but it looks like Hollywood is way faster than I am so I can't get him to help me so you gotta yeah you're you have to be stuck with my B movie um, that will probably have no edits I'm trying but I probably won't know. Started. I prepared a few things so you're not being stuck with like the whole process so uh, yeah let's see how this goes. We are starting with um, and I'm sending around the recipe too. We have, um, so, four, we need four eggs, okay? And what we have to do with these eggs, we have to separate the egg yolk, the egg yolk from the egg white, okay? Pretty tricky part. I show you how to do it. So you open your egg and carefully let in the egg white. Woohoo! And then here's my yolk. So you dip it back and forth and you dip it back and forth. Oh, be careful. Don't contaminate the egg white with the yolk. Very important. So go back and forth. Once I'm done with this, then I take my egg yolk and chuck it in a different bowl. So you're supposed to do this with uh, four eggs. I'm just doing it. I prepared three eggs like this already. So you're not stuck with me for too long. And... Uh, yeah, so we can get started right away. So what we have right here is the egg white in the bowl. And now I'm taking 65 grams of icing sugar, which is about half a cup that I put into my little measuring thing here already. And you chuck it in there. Da -da -da. And then now comes a tough part and that will be probably annoying. I'll see if I can cut it out the video or if I just leave it like this. Now is a tricky one. You definitely need a hand mixer because you have to stiffen um, the egg white up. Like that sounds super um, maybe weird to you, but I show you what I mean in a second. So right now we have this liquidy um, like falling around. If I would tip over the bowl right now, it would totally land on the floor. So I have to stiffen this up and this can take quite some time. So bear with me. You should be able to turn a bowl without it coming out. So let's get started. Start on the low setting and then you can work your way up so the, the icing sugar is not all over your face. And okay. So that was almost six minutes of mixing. Um, got my fitness fix from just doing that. What do we learn from this? Everything has a little bit of a learning attached to it. Well, patience. This was probably almost as exciting as if you watch the, um, the chimney fire channel, right? So, but see what happened? We, that was all liquidy before, and now we could tilt it upside down. I hold it over my head, and I really wanted to make sure I'm not ending up on fail army videos here on YouTube, so it doesn't fall out. This, this is how it has to look like. That's what we call like making egg white, like we stiffen it up with icing sugar, okay? Now we come to the next step. I'm just gonna, I'm just washing off these uh, things just very briefly because we need to use them again. Now we come to the sugar, to the real sugar onto our egg yolks. By the way, in German we call egg yolks Eigelb. Uh, we just call it egg yellow. Makes far more sense than calling them egg yolks. Why should I call them egg yolks? Uh, so we call it Eiweiß um, and uh, yeah so um, 
look at this. So this is sugar. So we take, um, this is a third cup of sugar, uh, 565 grams, and we put it into our egg yolks. Ta-da! And now we mix it, and we mix it, we make it uh, foamy. We just foam it up a little bit, add some good old foam there. Oh, always terrified that I'm mixing my fingers off by accident when I work around here. So, there. No worries, this will not take as long as the other. a move that's a pretty cool move we call it unterheben in German and what it means is we fold we fold it I think that's what you say in English I hope so so you fold this stuff the foamy stuff the foamy uh, um, yolk and sugar you put it in into your eyeballs into an egg white Ta -da -da, scrape it out scrape 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 there and now we fold it. So don't like, like uh, you know, don't go crazy at it. All we do is we fold it under. We fold it under. What we're making here is a so-called biscuit teig, uh, a biscuit dough. Super nice and fluffy. Um, it's extremely important that you have that stiffened up egg white because otherwise you will not get a really good biscuit biscuit dough. Okay. So we fold it under. Now we take, and I have to look at my conversion, flour, half a cup of flour and, and a third cup of cornstarch. So, first of all, half a cup of flour. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the cup system is actually really easy. You know, the Germans do everything with scale because it's so accurate there. But it is really easy to just chuck some stuff into, you know. Take a little bit of a risk. Taking risks is nice sometimes. Oh my God, what happens if I have just a little bit too much? Nothing will happen, it's all good. There, okay, fantastic. There, so half a cup of flour. We fold it in there. And then a third cup. There, this gives me some idea. Wonderful, oh, there. This is what happens all the time. I big, big uh, messes. <laughs> this is why I'm not wearing my school clothing, my, my teacher's clothing, I'm just wearing my baking clothing. There. So we, what we just did is we took half a cup of flour and a third cup of um, cornstarch and we put it in our mixture. And again, I hope the light is not too awkward. Now we fold it under again, okay? Now what you did is pretty awesome. Now you made, the first part is pretty much already done. The video I think is only 16 minutes so far, which is not even that bad considering the fact that I was mixing for like over five minutes um, that you can just fast forward <laughs> to next time. Okay, there. Ta -da. Mm -hmm. Fold it under. The folding under is sometimes a little bit complicated. Just make sure there's no um, no dry uh, no dry flour or cornstarch sitting anymore somewhere on the sides. So just make sure you fold it in really, really nicely. There. Whee! It's really yummy. I'm even allowed to just actually eat some of the dough because no one else is eating it other than my other family members. At school I never do this, of course. I never dip my finger in the bowl. It'd be not so yummy. There. Okay, now you grab a cookie sheet and you put a little bit of parchment paper on the cookie sheet. Now comes 
a move that can be a little bit more tricky. No, it's actually not a tricky move. Now you put your mixture, your dough, onto the onto the cookie sheet. There. Hey, hi, right, Claire. To help you. you want to help me? There's Claire. Come, come on in here. How did you sleep? There's oh, so. Long. You slept long. She slept for ten minutes. Okay. So, now, hi. <laughs> so you're saying hi, Eclair loves to help me. You know what you can help me with, Claire? Yeah. Do you want to eat the yummy dough? The yummy leftover dough? Yes, perfect. There. Oh, it's bit my lip. Oh, you bit your lip? Oh, careful, there. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I'll put it down for you here. Mmm. Okay, so there you go. Now comes a, a very important part, and Bratka and Ella, they are absolutely excellent at that. You need to spread out the dough on your cookie sheet very evenly. So this is where your German, uh, your German uh, fine motorics should come in. You have to be very perfectly like distributing this because like I said before, I know, and you can hear. Can you help me by trying to spread it out a little bit there? There, I'm going to let you spread. Yeah, you're in the video now. No, but I want my skirt. Okay, Bennett. There, you can spread it out in a second, Claire. You can actually help me make whipping cream if you want. So, there we go. Spread it out very evenly. There. And is it good, Claire? You like the dough? Is it nice and sweet? Mm -hmm. There. Awesome. So once you spread it out nice and evenly. Mommy, I want you to pick that so I can help you. Oh, I understand. Okay. You know what? Give me one second, then you can help me. This is actually going in the oven now. Now comes the boring oven part, Claire. Um, and then you can help me with the exciting filling part. How about that? Does that sound good? Does it sound good? So definitely a kid-friendly task too, um, if you want to do it with your younger siblings. So now I spread it out. Okay, I will. Now I spread it out really. Oh yes, now I spread it out really evenly. Get a little bit of kitchen number here for Claire. And now it goes into the oven. And it goes into the oven onto the uh, middle rack for... The only reason why I'm so weirdly in front of the screen right now is because I'm actually peeking at my Word file. Uh, it's 170 degrees Celsius. So we're talking about 335, 338 degrees um, Fahrenheit. So it goes into your oven for 15 minutes, okay? 15 minutes. Put it in the oven, time it well, don't leave it in too much because if it gets all dark, <laughs> if it gets all dark, then it's, it's not nice if it burns. Okay, and I will actually stop the video now and then come back in 15 minutes because that would be super boring if I just let the video run for 15 minutes now. Is it fun? Yeah. Okay, can you say bye for now? We'll, we'll bye. tune in a little bit later. <laughs> um, I will make it for your yeah. students, mommy. That's so nice. Are you give it to them through the screen? Yeah. Aw, that's so sweet. Actually, I will give them. I will give it to them at school. Aw, that's nice. We miss you guys. See you in a little bit. Okay, hello. Here I'm back for you with the second part of the baking of the Erdbeerrolle. The baking of the Erdbeerrolle. Um. So while the Erdbeerrolle dough is in the oven, you should actually prepare the second part, the filling, okay? What you need for the filling is you need your strawberries that I cut up already, um, but you need to, so while in these 15 minutes, while um, the oven is running, you cut up the strawberries into nice little chunks. They should be, oh, can you see this? They should be really small because when you roll it, you don't want to have two big pieces in it. So, and what I also love to use are raspberries. I also like to use raspberries. Um, 
because I find they just add another amazing taste to it. So you get this ready and then you take your whipping cream. I've got a whole bucket right here. Um, and you need 500 milliliters of whipping cream. Yeah, it's definitely uh, on the fatty side and sugary side, but oh well. It's what we need right now. So there we go with 500 milliliters. There, 250 for one. And we go with 250 for number two. There. Got our 500 milliliters, 500 milliliter. Then, um, so because we have to make the cream, the filling a little bit tougher, we add. Just kind of rushing a little bit because it's all about timing from this point on. We add two tablespoons of cornstarch to our whipping cream so that it gets a little bit, um, the consistency is a little bit tougher, it's not too runny. And what I like to add personally, just because one of my vices is that I have a very sweet tooth. <laughs> So the next step you can either skip or do. I like to add a little bit more sugar to the to the <laughs> to our whipping cream. You don't have to do this. So I'm personally adding two tablespoons of sugar to the whipping cream. And then, oh yeah, I can't forget this. And another one is two. Usually we put something in that we call vanilla sugar in German, vanille Zucker, but I have never found it here in Canada except for once in a while in the international food section. It's, it's sugar, it's a little bit of sugar that's all already mixed with some vanilla stuff and it's dry, but it, it doesn't matter, you can also just take vanilla flavor. Um, just be careful, like I'm adding two tablespoons of vanilla flavor, I just have to the kind of gross, low quality artificial vanilla flavor. If you have pure vanilla flavor, then um, just don't add too much. Maybe just add one table spoon. Okay, so this is our mixture now made out of whipping cream, cornstarch, um, vanilla flavor, and I wanted a little bit of table sugar in it. You don't have to do that. And now we just uh, make a nice, cream out of it and we need to use the mixer again <laughs> okay so that was also almost three minutes um yeah you you the same thing you want to make sure it uh, the texture is um texture is a little bit uh, rougher like not too liquidy so when you do the roll that it doesn't kind of all roll like like squeeze out now once this is done um oh it's so yummy you put in your strawberries and then you put in your raspberries you can wash them obviously if you prefer washing them ahead of time put in your raspberries and then we mix it all here there we mix it and now this is almost like it's actually so you have this yummy filling this uh strawberries and uh, this whipping cream mix and it almost tastes like um, like when you do strawberry shortcakes actually so now I will do a little preparation of my biscuit dough is actually not done yet so I have to fire up my biscuit dough Take this one out of the oven. Actually, just stopping this for one second. So, and here I am with the third part. Um, so here I was all rushing because of the 15 minutes uh, oven time, and then I realized uh, I hadn't even switched on the oven. <laughs> so I had it in there for 15 minutes and wanted to take it out, and the oven wasn't on. So, anyways, now <laughs> the 15 minutes are over and the dough is definitely done. So 
Um, now comes a very interesting step. And again, you can skip it, like depending on how sweet you want it. So the German way is that you take a towel, um, a dishcloth, dish towel, dish towel, not dish cloth. My English is suffering. There, so you take your little dish towel and you put some sugar onto the dish towel. So this is really up to you. Oops, this is a giant lump of sugar. This is really up to you too, how much um, sugar you want to stick to the outside of your dough. Then you spread it out nicely and evenly on your dish towel. So the sugar that you put onto this dish towel will be sticking to the outside of the dough. This is what it's for. And again, if you want to, you can skip this step, okay? If you don't want to have it too sweet. Um, some people don't like it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, now make sure you have really good oven mitts so you're not burning yourself because this will be very hot. And now let's grab the dough from the oven. Okay, there. Okay. There, here you have your beautiful biscuit dough. Um, and now comes a little bit of a very tricky move. So you want to kind of grab around this cookie sheet because we want to tilt it upside down now. We want to get it upside down onto the sugary dish towel. Dish towel. So there, ta-da, all done. Wonderful. Now I'm just kind of carefully taking the parchment paper out. Okay, so it's important that we want to try to keep the dough as moist as possible. So let's assume you are working all by yourself, you didn't have a lot of time to prepare, and you, you're still in the process of cutting up the strawberries. Um, you do not want to let the dough get too cool, um, because then it gets too dry, and when we roll it, it breaks. So one way to prevent the dough from getting too cool too quickly um, is to take a dish towel, uh, put it full of wet cold water, soak it in wet cold water and place it on top of your, um, on top of the parchment paper. That keeps your dough really moist. However, because I, I messed up my oven time, so I'm already totally prepared, I don't have to keep it moist. All I'm doing is I take the parchment paper off and now I'm getting my delicious cream. I put my, I put my, um, I put my delicious cream into the, the freezer just so it keeps it nice and, uh, nice and I don't even know what the English word for that is. It keeps it a little bit less <laughs> liquidy. <laughs> There. Then you put your cream on to your liking. Again, you can put more on, less on. Um, usually, most of the time, I put all of it on, and then you just spread it out evenly. You spread it out evenly onto your dough. And after that comes the trickiest part, the messiest part, if you want to say so. Definitely is a little bit of mess involved, but Oh well, that's the fun of baking. There, I'm bringing the camera as close as possible so you see this process of rolling. Um, I am definitely not as professional at this as Radka is. Radka and Ella are the absolute best when it comes to rolling. I have never seen rolling perfected in a way like when Radka did it. Because usually my roll breaks, Radka's roll didn't break, so hmm, too bad for me. So now you very carefully take the dough, and it also depends how long you left the dough in the oven. If you left it too long, it may break. I can already feel mine breaking. Oh, fail, I have to do it again. So, and now you roll this beauty. You roll it, you roll it. Ooh. And there it breaks. So ideally you do this way better than I do. 
very carefully roll this goodie and again it doesn't matter if it breaks if it's not perfect it goes like there's a German saying that it that everything gets mixed up in your stomach anyways there here's our beautiful roll Ta -da. here is our yummy strawberry roll there oh the biscuit dough and inside we have a cream with strawberries and raspberries ta-da so this can be served completely as it is you don't need any ice cream with it it's uh, an absolute delicious thing to serve anytime so do it for Easter one of the most important things that I should have said in the very beginning is that um, this recipe was actually given to me by a, a German student in my very very first year Marion Schwer her mother gave me this recipe and uh, since then I've always made it and she said like I can share as much as I want to so um, I will share this recipe with you guys uh, I did already in the video but I can also send you the actual written up version and yeah so little challenge I should have said in the beginning too. make it and post a picture of it or send a picture to me I'd be so happy to know that you made it for your parents Thanks for watching this. Have a great time. Bye bye and have fun baking. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.